Hi everyone, and welcome back to our Gut Health Q&A series. Today, we're going to demystify the low FODMAP diet by answering some of your top questions. So let's dive right in. Question 1. What exactly is the low FODMAP diet? Well, FODMAPs are a group of carbohydrates that can trigger digestive symptoms in some individuals. The low FODMAP diet is an eating plan that restricts these FODMAPs to help alleviate gut-related issues. Question 2. How long should I follow the low FODMAP diet? The diet is typically followed in two phases. The elimination phase lasts around two to six weeks, where you cut out high FODMAP foods. Then, you gradually reintroduce these foods in the challenge phase to identify which ones trigger your symptoms. Question 3. Can I ever eat high FODMAP foods again? Absolutely. Once you've identified your trigger foods, you can gradually reintroduce them into your diet. Many individuals find they can tolerate small amounts of these foods without triggering symptoms. Question 4. Is the low FODMAP diet a long-term solution? The low FODMAP diet is not meant to be followed indefinitely. It's an elimination and reintroduction approach to identify trigger foods. The goal is to establish a personalized diet that allows you to enjoy a wide variety of foods while managing your gut health. Question 5. Will the low FODMAP diet fix all my digestive issues? While the diet can be incredibly helpful for many, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. There could be underlying causes of your digestive issues that should be addressed. It's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional to ensure the proper diagnosis and guidance. And that's all for today's Q&A session. We hope we've cleared up some of your doubts regarding the low FODMAP diet. If you found this information useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more gut health tips and advice. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.